How to use the AutoSoft 90 infusion set. The AutoSoft 90 is a very popular 90 degree set that uses a soft cannula and comes with an integrated insertion device. It's available with 6 and 9 millimeter cannulas and either 23 or 43 inch tubing. You can also choose between gray, pink, and blue infusion sets and connectors. To begin, you will want to work on a clean surface. Be sure to wash your hands and clean your insertion site. Please refer to your healthcare provider's recommendations when selecting an insertion site. The AutoSoft 90 comes packaged in this cool little spaceship design, which contains the set, the tubing, and the inserter all together. Before you begin, check the tamper-proof seal and sterile paper. Do not use if the seal or paper have been broken. To open it, find the red strip of plastic in the outer shrink wrap and pull it to remove the seal. Then remove the sterile paper cover. Now, remove the lid by pressing the three raised dots on either side firmly with one hand and lifting the flat tab of the lid with the other. Be careful not to bend or touch the AutoSoft 90 introducer needle when preparing the inserter and infusion set. Now we're going to get ready to insert the cannula. It's important to be gentle when handling the insertion device to keep from moving or dislodging the infusion set. First, we'll unwind the tubing. It's important to do this before attempting to insert the site. Carefully grab the end of the tubing by the connector and dislodge it from this tab. Then, gently pull it upwards to unwind, stopping when you get to the end so you don't move the cannula housing. Be careful not to pull too hard when the tubing is fully released. You could accidentally remove the infusion set from the introducer needle. Attach the infusion set tubing to the tubing lock connector on the cartridge. Twist clockwise until finger tight, and then twist another quarter of a turn to ensure a secure connection. Fill your tubing according to the instructions in your tandem pump user guide. When priming the AutoSoft 90 infusion set, hold the connector needle pointing down. Make sure there are no gaps of air in your tubing to reduce the possibility of interrupted insulin delivery. You should never fill your tubing while your infusion set is connected to your body. Always ensure that the infusion set is disconnected from your body before filling the tubing. Now it's time to insert the cannula. It's important that the area is clean and dry before proceeding. You can also wipe the area with an alcohol swab or an IV prep pad. Next, gently pull off the swirly paper backing on the adhesive. Be careful not to pull the adhesive paper too hard. You could accidentally remove the infusion set from the introducer needle. After that, you need to caulk the insertion device. To do this, place your fingers on these lined ridges on both sides and press in. Then grab right here and pull straight up until it clicks. Now, remove this plastic needle guard from the introducer needle by gently twisting and pulling it off. After that, slide the tubing into one of these two slots on the rim of the insertion device to keep it out of the way. Put the inserter over the area you selected for your site. You can choose which way the tubing will face by looking for where it attaches to the cannula housing. Activate the inserter by pressing the round indents on either side at the same time and there it goes! Press the middle of the inserter gently to make sure the adhesive is stuck on well. Then remove the introducer needle by pulling back on these white tabs. Fill the cannula with 0.3 units for 6mm cannulas or 0.5 units for 9mm cannulas. You are now ready to resume your pump and start delivering insulin. Always check your blood sugar two hours after inserting to make sure it's working properly. Replace the protective lid on the inserter for proper disposal by pushing it until you hear it click. The AutoSoft 90 allows you to temporarily disconnect your pump without having to change the infusion set. You may want to temporarily disconnect from your pump at times such as showering, swimming, and contact sports. To disconnect, place a finger just in front of the cannula housing and gently squeeze the sides of the connector needle. Pull the connector needle straight out and insert the disconnect cover into the cannula housing. To reconnect your pump, Fill the infusion set until you see insulin drip from the needle. Remember to never fill your tubing unless your set is disconnected. Now, remove the cover from the cannula housing. Place your finger in front of the cannula housing and push the connector needle straight in until you hear a click. We hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions about infusion sets, please contact customer support at 877-801-6901. They're available 24 hours a day and happy to help.